You know, you just did your competition. Yeah. That was big. That was such a crazy experience yesterday. Like, I was just talking and theory about it today. Like, it seems like, yeah. like, did I just compete yesterday? It's like a, yeah. With professionals, with people that do this. Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's, a, it's the weirdest feeling because like you put like so much time and discipline and effort into something mm -hmm. and then as you saw like at the back, yeah, like you're just popping up and then like they're calling out um, like your classes and you've got to go. And it's like bang, right. bang, bang, like, like, like far out, like trying to think that you get poses down, you know what you're doing when you step on stage, yeah. you got to be confident, you just calm and do everything. Um, like it just happens in a flash and it's like it's all over. Morning guys, this is it. This is the day after almost a year of preparation it comes down to this day. <laughs> oh man, it's kind of crazy. Feeling good, feeling good. Just, well, I probably had about seven hours sleep. It just took a while to get everything done last night, but yeah, that's, you gotta do this. Just about to have two rice cakes and peanut butter. And I'm going to be eating this every two hours, just like a little tiny bit of food and a tablespoon of glycerin every hour. Let's get it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> All right. So this is first meal. So just a tablespoon of peanut butter. So we're going to do this every two hours. And so like quarter to seven. So next one at quarter to nine and the athlete Briefing is at 8.30, so I'm going to have to actually eat these in the briefing, which will be awkward, but I've got to do it. And about two sips of water, like that's it. Water is going to be kept to a minimum. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Goodies. Goodies. Weird items if we were to go through this. Hopefully we can go through it sometime during the day at different points. I haven't had peanut butter for such a long time, so it's good. Here we are. It's a little bit fresh and cold. How's that tan doing? Hold on. <laughs> you know, you really put yourself out there, you know? Like yeah. that's like something huge, you know? It's like how did that feel? I actually felt like doing that like gave me some like it's like change in mindset that I can, you know, like go and do mm. anything mm. like that I want to do in life now. It's pretty amazing how you know you did that, and I felt inspired by that. Like man, you know, did you? yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, real talk. That's awesome. Not being afraid to go for something, you know. That's it. And not being afraid That's to it. put yourself out there, and you know. Obviously, like I'm not the biggest guy, and like, sure. to to go in a bodybuilding competition, like I knew, mm. you know, even though getting a coach, like I thought I put on a bit more muscle this year. Like it didn't really happen, hmm. but I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm doing it. Like I'm not gonna pull out because I'm not big enough. I'm just gonna go there, like put it all on the line. And <laughs> like I don't care. Like just do it. Thank you. 
So we just met Callum Bongonga again. Like I met him yesterday, but got some photos with him, which is pretty cool. Really down earth guy, and he's huge. He's massive, massive. So we're just gonna take some photos quickly outside of the sun. Why not? <laughs> Front of the fountain. Yeah. Talk about you know the time and effort that you put into the competition, like training, like because that's like oh, it's every single day there is like structure and a plan you've got to follow. An average day, six months ago. Like, you're so far away from a comp. Okay. Um, would involve, let's say, five or six meals. Every meal is measured. Um, I'm not guessing, like, everything is measured. Like, it might be 200 grams of chicken, hmm. uh, 250 grams of sweet potato um, with veggies, something like that. But it's all calculated. The hardest thing is trying to fit into your day. Like, obviously, you're working. I work as a personal trainer, so I might work. 6 a.m. to mm. 12 p.m. like a shift of six hours and no gaps so I've got to try and stick to my diet mm. in, that, in that time like there's there's two meals in that time that I've got to hit and you've got to be creative like sometimes <laughs> think outside the box like obviously I'd have a, a meal with like 200 grams of, of red meat and I experimented for a while and ended up finding the best um, <laughs> meal for that situation was a salmon shake, so I'd blend. A salmon shake? Yeah, salmon. <laughs> 200 grams of salmon. It was, it was savage, man. It was pretty foul, I'm not gonna lie. Wow. Put it in the blender, okay. add water and spinach, blend it up. And then I would have had like over 200 of those this year just to, to be able to hit my second meal and be able to still work. And you know, because six days a week, I, I wouldn't be able to sit down and actually eat that meal. Mm. So there's something like that. You've got to fit into your schedule and then obviously. Training wise, I do say an average week would be six six days of training, six sessions, two hour sessions. Obviously, as you get closer, things get a bit more technical, and you've got to you know do a bit more training, more cardio. The diet is even more important. That you're not saying that I I wouldn't deviate from my plan, but like once it gets close, you're hundred percent on. Definitely a uh, big commitment and. A lot of discipline, determination, and focus goes into it. Probably should get a towel. Okay, so we're going to go get some food for Nuria because she's starving. <laughs> and we'll go for a little drive and then come back. It's 1.30. Probably try and get back here by, I don't know, like 3.34 for the finals. And nice automatic food, baby. We were just about to go, but I just realized my alarm went off. I've got to take 100 mils of water, uh, 100 milligrams of salt, and half an aspirin. This is the plan, guys. This is like quite like a random um, like 
plan if you can see that um, so I was eating every two hours taking glycerine every hour so I've just got like alarms on my phone going off just so I don't forget because it's quite easy to, like things are just going bang 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 and I guess like in four hours time I'm gonna be back on stage for the finals so it's crazy I'll just duck in the back and get this baby <laughs> that was that was Cal Whoa. seriously yeah he likes doing burnouts but that's seriously him yeah nice day for a drive got a strong tan Elephant just closing up its its tide. All right, we're gonna get some macas. Well, actually, I'm not getting macas. You're getting macas. CBK, yeah. That's probably where we're gonna go after the show. CBK, California Pizza Kitchen. I love pizza, and they make the best pizzas in America, I reckon. Thanks, man. Because I forgot to pack 100 milligrams of salt and bring it in the double drum. I just drank it first of Mmm, coffee, coffee, coffee. Nuggets again, baby? Yeah, I have a thing for nuggets. <clears throat> I can tell. <laughs> You're just telling them. It's my natural, my natural skin color. Everyone's looking at me in this place like I'm from kind of Mars. I'm just trying to be from planet aesthetics. Leaving McDonald's back to the sea man. <laughs> How long were you training for this competition? Second week of January this year. Okay. So pretty much this whole year I've been focused on this competition. Got it. Yeah. But obviously I've been training since I've been six, 16 years old, so mm. that's... 13 years ago, that's crazy. <laughs> 13 years. <laughs> man, like I was saying, man, what you did this weekend, man, it's one of those things when I see people around me that do things like that, I get juiced off that, man. Like, I'm like man, so cool. can't wait to, you know, drop some new music and just go record yeah, and write, you know, it. just do it. Like, I found a lot of my motivation and drive and energy, like, has come through music, like, hmm. hip hop. Like, no other music has that motivation, like, just through the roof motivation, like, you know, you just want to like go out and do something. Young Jeezy, I could relate to him, even though his motivation for doing stuff is completely different to me. Like as a, you know, like a normal white kid growing up in Australia, and he's talking about dealing drugs and <laughs> like, but he's you know he's like out there just doing it, you know like mm -hmm. he wanted to get somewhere, be someone, and he did it with the cards that he was dealt, and I respect that. Hmm. I, like wow, yeah. a lot of people like say like whoa you know he's if he's done what he said he's done he's done it legally and sure. you know he's a bad person for that I, I honestly think if I was in that environment I probably would have done the same thing what you have in your environment you make the most of and you want to get out of it like just just do it like you find a way there's always a way hmm. it's got to keep troubleshooting problem solving mm -hmm. trying to progress yeah. I always thought that's dope, man. Like, you really connect with the culture and, like, you know, like you're official, you know, as that's they say. <laughs> you're official. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, like, but it's cool, like, that music, and you, you, like, take that music into the gym when you're doing a workout. Mm -hmm. It gives you energy. Like, dance music, you know, that has energy, but it doesn't have that feeling, like, the story behind it, like, mm. the artist, like, what, the pain, the struggle, like, everything, like, it just adds up and just inspires you to just, like, go that extra push that extra rep and yeah. just get it just back at the uh the venue after a mcdonald's stop and i need two rice cakes and peanut butter that would not be good my beautiful tan <laughs> the best tan of my life <laughs> so this this minivan's actually quite quite useful isn't it just get some oh no don't don't break don't break stick it together with the peanut butter <laughs> it's good, but it's not much food. I'm hungry all the time.
How are you feeling pre-competition? Good man, good. More calm than the first time this morning. So, can't wait to get back out there. Let's do it. So far, as you've seen, like, went to the bathroom after pumping up, came back into the room, was like, doing some more pump up, a few minutes, was watching like everything on TV, and then they call my class out, you line up in the hallway, still pumping up, and then it's just like, okay, you guys are on stage, like, you're just lining up on stage, like, let's go, let's go, like, one after the other, and you're like, okay, this is real. And you're like, trying to go through in your head, like, what poses you're doing, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. I actually did mess up a little bit on stage, I kind of like got a transition wrong, but whatever. I just did it. <laughs> and then it's like bang, you're on stage, then look at you, and then you go off on the side of the stage, there's other people still going, and then they're like, all of a sudden it's the places, and that's it. It's like, thanks guys for turning up. <laughs> was like, you know, like a year solid of hard work, and many years before. You know, I've been lifting since 16, so like all this effort, and then just like a rush, you get a rush, and then it's like done. So <laughs> I think, you know, that's the first show done. I will compete again one day, I'm not sure when, but I thoroughly enjoyed it, and now it's like, time to go eat. Let's do this. Red drink is stuck in this water right now. Dehydrated. I think maybe a litre for the whole day. I reckon it's probably probably as much as I had. I think <laughs> a liter. A liter a day. I'm used to like having like four liters easy. Easily yeah. per day. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So it's like I'm gonna drink a stack of water, then I'm gonna eat a stack of food. Yeah. <laughs> so we put on like five pounds or something. To work it off again. Yeah, I can work it off next week. <laughs> 
<laughs> right now, we're gonna eat. Look at this fountain, this is beautiful. Yeah, this would be a good shot. Uh, yeah, the lighting's good here. Yeah, oh, like I was in the gym this morning like working on improving what I need to improve because I want to compete again in 2017 probably San Francisco I'm thinking like <laughs> it's a bit closer to closer to home for my girlfriend and I like when I come over um, but yeah I just want to just do it again like maybe do some, something slightly differently what I've learned what I can do better and just do muscle like that's what I need is there any uh, people that are doing things artificially, you know? Yeah, yeah? for sure. <laughs> for sure? Okay. And it's always like in the back of your mind, like, you know, <laughs> like, do I, don't I? Mm -hmm. That's just being but real. It's just, you know, you've got to wait up, like, what do you value more in life? You know, Absolutely. That, that look or your health, know, like, at the end of the day, I think, there's so many other things that are much more important in life. I love spending time with the people you love, like, yeah. Absolutely. So blessed. That's what's up, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. yeah. I can see that. Yeah. You gotta take her back home, you know. <laughs> one day. <laughs> one day when she's ready. Let's, <laughs> we can take it slow, but yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. see what happens. Get her yeah, a little pet Joey. Day by day and you know it's it's awesome, like every day is just awesome with her. Yeah. So. It's great man. I can see it man. Yeah. I can see can see the energy and the glow on you, you know, yeah. the happiness and yeah, it's, it's good. Really cool. It's contagious, you know. <laughs> yeah. 